Welcome back to Let's Play Dark Souls. I'm your host of the Dark Souls Variety Hour. As you can see, we're back in Anne Orlando. After we have, uh... We... I'm trying to put it tactfully. We slept around some Tig old biddies. And, uh, they weren't real. And, uh... So, the Tiggle Biddies I'm talking about are of Guinevere, and there's actually a uh, illusion by Gwendolyn. Who is Gwendolyn, you ask? Uh, I can hear you chattering. That uh, Gwendolyn is one of the sons of Lord Gwyn. And he uses the blade of... He has his own uh, fucking... What's it called? He has his own covenant called the Blade of the Dark Moon. Uh, we're gonna go see that dude later. That's the firekeeper that was at the bonfire there. Uh, let's see. First. Wait a minute. I know. We have to actually set the. This big rotating ass pillar thing down. So he has his own covenant called the Blade of the Dark Moon. And what they do is they find sinners from other worlds and you invade them just like you would a red phantom, like you would if you were going to steal their humanity, their souls. But you go to reap them as sinners. So interesting little dynamic. Uh, so there's a few actions in game that are considered sins. Uh, like killing certain NPCs uh, are considered sins. There's certain bosses that are considered sins. Uh, let's double check this. Uh, Ring of the Firstborn. Because I think there's some cool flavor text stuff there. Lord, by Lord Gwyn's Firstborn, who inherited the sunlight, once wore this ancient ring. Boots the strength of miracles. Lord Gwyn's Firstborn was a god of war. But his foolishness less to, led to the loss of the annals and rescinded of his deific status. Today, his name is not known. So, Gwyn's first son was a god of war. He lost the annals history. Well, I'm assuming it is uh, like some great record of their history before, like during the Great Dragon War and stuff. So... Yeah, Gwyn was a dick, exiled his firstborn son. Heretic. First thou offended the godmother, and now thou see fit to trample upon the tomb of the great lord. I am the dark son of Gwyndolin. Let the atonement of thy felonies commence. I like how uh, they make special attention to uh, when they uh, say son, they'd say S U N, not S O N. Like, yes, he's the son of Gwyn. Ooh, that hurt up here. He's the son of Gwyn. But they make a uh, special special uh, notes of uh, him having the powers of the sun. Just like somebody else that uh, is looking, for, searching for the powers of his own son. A one warrior of sunlight. Ooh, that hurt. This, sh this isn't as hard as I'm making it look. Third? Yeah, we got a third hit. Okay, and... 
So the small ones you could actually uh, just hang behind one of these things right here. Uh, you could see him charging a big one like right there and you just have to either dodge left or right. And he kind of stands up on his tentacle things and all you have to do is like weave left or right and you'll be able to dodge those. So, quill killing Gwendolyn is also considered a, uh, a sin. Who knew the leader of the Blade of the Dark Moons that hunts down sinners? Killing him would be considered a sin. I don't know. Shenanigans, I say. Alright. The brass set. It looks weird. Like, it's alright, but uh, there's better. It's just a heavy set with a lot of poise, and there is absolutely nothing in this chest. And that whole long-ass uh, hallway was just this. Now, if you'd wish to actually join his covenant, you actually have to come here uh, during your first visit to Anne Orlando, and or you do not uh, destroy the image of uh, Guinevere after Ornstein and Smo. But you also need a uh, certain ring, I forget the name of the ring, but it's found in the crypts, and you actually have to really look for it, you have to know where you're going. I'd look it up if you're interested in the thing. Uh, let's see, we want, we have two attunement slots, 31, 32, 33, uh, we can start going in Vitality. We have pretty much all the endur uh, endurance we need, um, so yeah, more Vitality. We'll be able to take more than one hit. Hopefully. And now... Do the shenanigans again. Go down here. Do that thing to that guy. And we're down in the painted guardian's room. Alright. Kill you. I'm not gonna spend a lot of time here because I know what I'm here for. Oh, what's this? Painted World RMS. Now this place ain't too bad. It can be a little bit annoying. Let us tune. Second. Oh, I want Great Chaos Fireball. Or Chaos Storm. But we need, uh more slots in order to actually uh, use that. So, let us begin. The 
As soon as I see more examples, I'll explain what this place actually is, because there's a specific reason this place exists. Ooh. Fuck you! Okay, I'm just gonna go over here and heal. Fuck you guys. Something over here. What the hell's that clicking noise? There we go. Something's making a real big clicking noise. Is that the snow? That's really annoying. Oh. Let's go here. Thread finger. Guys, these guys are fucking pains in the ass. I'm trying to do this so I, when they die, they release a poison mist that I'm trying to avoid at all costs because it is fucking ridiculous. As the place isn't the easiest to uh, like navigate because you gotta spend some. A decent amount of time here. I'd rather not be poisoned. Uh, there we go. Yes, I have a soul of a proud knight. Let's go over here. Try to kill these guys from a decent range. Back the fuck off. Oh, fuck you. Let's see what we got. Do we have any things to get rid of the toxic status? That is the wrong thing. Uh, we need a great purple moss clump. I fucking hate you game sometimes game. Just the toxic is annoying as fuck. Uh, we can make that jump and that actually be a nice shortcut for us to make over here. Let's see if we'll... Nope. Alright. I think there's more of these rats down here. Yep. Oh, fuck you. That's one way to clear your toxic status. I don't even care about those souls. I just want to open up the... I'm going to take the quick route, and I'm going to try to take the quick route first. And open up the grand old shortcut. That's what I'm looking for. And then we could, uh, explore further. No! Go up here, heal up. Alright. We're good. Now we go down here. bunch of guys out in the courtyard. We just run away from them. We don't need to deal with them. There's something we ought to interact with later, but... <laughs> Hi, how's it going? See you later, nerd. There 
is one thing I want to do. We're gonna become human. Hopefully not get invaded. This is actually a fairly decent invasion spot. And... Come on. There's one of the red phantom NPCs I want to kill. Because if we do, we get his super cool awesome armor. I'm just clearing this area out. Oh, well that was wasted. Fuck me, right? Running short on humanity. We are going to be going to the DLC area, I feel, after we finish in the Painted World. Because we're getting short on humanity, and just so happens, there is a fair amount of humanity in the next uh, area. Tag me. I don't want to go too far because then I actually spawn the NPC. So. No. Okay, is that it? Keeping an eye back here because I want to see when he spawns in. Should be around here where he comes in. I think I have to go over to those items. Alright, he should be spawning in. There we go. Look at this doof. King Jeremiah. Apparently he that's a uh, Dark uh, Demon Souls reference. Uh, Jeremiah was a boss in Demon Souls. I have don't know. Anyways, the reason I actually wanted to do that is we get a super sick looking armor. Oh. These guys are just straight annoying. We don't have to fight them. It's just. I just want to interact with that, that thing in the middle. Mm. Oh, misplace. These guys are annoying. I'm trying to kill you. Keep an eye out. I 
No! Oh, fuck you. Fuck you with a rusted fork. So, they purposely put the light there, just so you could, uh, you would go there, and you would also, uh, that guy was gonna roll into you, and you discover that these, some walls are fake. You, you can kind of see the texture on the walls, it kind of looks like a brick wall that doesn't match the work, the cave here. We made it past the hard part. Oh, we have black firebombs still. Let's see how this goes. Let's go get this quick so we don't have to. That's what we were supposed to get. And now we can make our way to the final area. Damn crows. Nope, nope, nope. So much nope. <laughs> I ain't even mad. being cheeky, weren't you? Come on. So, this place, the Painted World of Ariamis, is a prison of sorts. It keeps anything that is uh, harmful to the gods, anything deemed profane or sinful, is kept here. Plunge down from the flank, 
and hurry home. So... We have the Xanthus set, which uh, we got from uh, our uh, King Jeremiah friend. Two hand this, big overhand swing. So she actually becomes invisible, but you can see her footprints in the snow. She does a lot of damage though. Let's try to keep an eye on her. Are you Priscilla? trying to keep an eye on her just because I want to get uh, her tail weapon like I said before all drakes all dragons have a form of a tail weapon that if you cut off their tail you get a neat little weapon for your efforts oh. alright so she's over there So you only get drake weapons from drakes or descendants of drakes. So that brings up who could be the father. Now with this place being a prison for all those profane and sinful things, acts against the gods. Priscilla being a crossbreed makes a little more sense if you consider Seath possibly being the father and that also brings up who could possibly be the mother. So Priscilla is a half-breed. Yeah, let's not do that. Priscilla is a crossbreed between a dragon and something else, some sort of giant. A lot of people actually speculate that it is actually Guinevere and or one of her maidens, which uh, we'll see why a lot of people think that a little later. But another reason is she has a ability which you also, if you use her soul to craft a weapon out of a scythe, you get the Life Hunt Scythe, which uh, gives you a clue to her true abilities. And from what I've been able to gather, Life Hunt is a method of uh, stealing souls through your weapon. And uh, so that'd actually be 
a pretty good way of her of her stealing the souls from the great lords. And we have no healing. So here's what. We're playing this safe. And that Firekeeper soul is from our friend, the Firekeeper at the bonfire way back over yonder. And she was, she was, uh, what's it called? She was loyal to Gwendolyn. And she was a blade of the Dark Moon Covenant. So that's why she's all like, no, fuck y'all, niggas. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to say that. All right, next time on Dark Souls, we continue on. Bye.